Okay, I'm literally so thankful that Factor just arrived because we just got home from the race and we have absolutely no food. So I was gonna either door dash something, just like scrounge around and eat what we have. Factor is chef prepared meals delivered right to your doorstep. So it's super easy. You just like place your order. You can pick what meals you want. They have a bunch of different categories you can pick from like calorie smart, you have protein plus. Those are probably my, my two favorite because they fit my macros the best. They have super easy to read macros. My favorite, favorite thing about them that you will hear me say over and over again is they're fresh, never frozen. Frozen meat gives me the, I'm not gonna lie, like I can't, I can't get on board with frozen. Something about it, when you heat it back up, it just tastes gross. So none of their stuff is ever frozen. I love Factor so much and I want you guys to be able to try it out too. So I did get a discount code for you. You can head to factor75.com or click the link in my description and use the code Kylie50 and you'll get 50% off your first box of Factor meals. Wow. Okay, I really like this one. Highly recommend. Dude, it looks so good. Now let's get into this vlog. Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another vlog. This is a very exciting and special vlog today. My husband, Bronson, and two of our best friends, Spencer and Zach, are running ultra marathon this weekend in Phoenix, Arizona. So we all came. Tim, Paige, and I are gonna be the pit crew, which means we're gonna be following them around on their entire race, making sure that they're well-fed, they're hydrated, all of the things. This weekend was honestly crazy and so much fun, so I can't wait for you guys to see everything. Let's get into it. This is the day we are leaving for the race. We're heading to the airport tonight. Um, but first, we gotta get some snackies. Snackies. So scary with your hair. <laughs> the best candy. I believe, yes. I've actually never had these, but. What are those? Wait, let me see. Red licorice bites. Ooh. Kylie and I are very similar in the way that we get into little kicks and obsessions with certain things. <laughs> They're called micro obsessions. Micro obsessions. Kylie's is cottage cheese at the moment. Sometimes mine is burgers. Sometimes mine is activities. A lot of times yours is activities. Sometimes it's sports. So what? I like cottage cheese. Kylie's Sue is cottage me. <laughs> <laughs> Off to make my cheese. Do you want me? No, thank you. Why are these so hard to break apart? I don't understand. I don't want to hear the cottage cheese slander. Okay. Dude, like it's that good. I could just eat it out of here. What's wrong with me? Nothing like a little pre-airport cottage cheese. That's what I always say. Oh. She's here! Hey! Powder's good. That actually looks so cute with the thing. <laughs> And just like that, we are on our way to the airport. Also, look at how much Paige looks like Grumpy Cat. I was absolutely dying at any of this. Once we checked in, we actually found Spencer at security, and then we headed to our gate. And then we ended up spending literally $50 on like water and snacks in the airport. <laughs> no, your hair scares people away. That's what's scary. Let's take a poll. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Did you choose not to sit by me because of my hair or because of the chick for light? This is my wife tax. Oh no. In my zip. Because this zit, well, actually I went to the dentist. I have one here. I went to the dentist and, here. and the dentist asked me, oh my gosh, what happened to your head? And I was like, also he was a boy. <laughs> and I was like, uh, is it? <laughs> uh, don't ask. <laughs> he goes, bump it, run into something. And I was like, what could I have run into? Uh, what do I say? I'm <clears throat> five feet tall, I can't say like a door. That's cool. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That should be easier than a block. Yeah. Ooh, you walk different. around like, oh, baby. If you have someone to find Are you, you kidding guess. me? It follows you. Good morning, y'all. It is a day one here in Phoenix, Arizona. The race is tomorrow. So we got here a day early just to like chill, get all the food, get all the running gear that we're gonna need. So Bronson, Spencer, and Zach are running the 50 mile race. I'll put the exact name of it, I can't remember. Project, no, Mountain Pass 50, I think that's right. And then the pit crew is me, Paige, and Tim, okay? So we're gonna be driving around in the van, following them to the pit stops, and then they get pacers for the last 15 miles. So that's when I will jump in 
and possibly Paige, just depending on how her knee's feeling. That's kind of the game plan. Um, I don't know what time tomorrow we're gonna get there and stuff. I guess we'll figure that out today, but we're about to go to brunch. I just did like a tiny bit of makeup, like just a little bit. So I feel like a little bit put together and we're gonna go get some brunch. It's gonna be a very fun weekend. I'm very excited for the boys because they've been really looking forward to this ever since our other uh, ultra marathon. Like they signed up for this one right after that. So I'm very excited. But we'll get that while we're out, we'll get our bibs and then we'll come back tonight and do stretching, hot tub, recovery, and then a race day simulation. We're absolutely not doing hot tub I'm tonight. absolutely not doing hot tub I either. We'll be doing hot tub because I'm on vacation. I can do what I want to. Oh, my baby's hair looking good. Give me a 360. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Enough of that nonsense. Watch this. Come here. Now watch oh, this, bro. Come here. Come here. Now watch the door of the car, of the minivan, of the minivan. Three, two, one. Wow. Wanna do a taste test? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of having stomach issues. Blueberry almond milk latte. Oh, it's really sweet. Yeah. It's good, but it's really sweet. Or I just start yelling. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Are you okay? What number do you think you're gonna be? Uh, I bet there's 500 people running it. I think I'm 279. We're supposed to drive. That's oh. embarrassing. Uh, this is fun. It's fun to walk. It's a drive-through. Huh? Oh, wow. Wow, actually, these are this oh, is pretty crazy. Wait, hold up your wait, let me hold the shirt. Okay, guys, hold it up. Look at me. Michael Jordan, baby. You're you. Michael Jordan. Um, give me a three. A three sixty. Nice. <laughs> okay, look in the mirror. I'm sorry, baby. I look like I really like Nickelback. Uh, look at this girl. <laughs> we're going to the grocery store right now, and then we're going to, when we go home, me and Paige are going to do a little body Work weight out. workout. Yeah, there's like the backyards all turfed. I'm going to sweat, you know, pre-race pacers. Tomorrow, we're pacers, if you guys didn't know that. We're pacers for the boys, and we're going to run 15, the last 15 miles with them. So, we're not doing anything crazy, but we want to get a little sweat on. Yeah. We had to stop by the running store and the grocery store to get the boys enough of their, like, electrolytes and all their snacks that they're going to need. There needed to be, like, a lot of fuels. They need to have, like, a certain amount of carbs per every hour. When we go on trips like this, we also just kind of get our own food. So, like, I just bought a few little veggies and some chicken and, like, some things that I was needing from the store. And then the boys made all of their little baggies. So they tried to make one for every single aid station, like, what they're going to need to fuel up on, if they need another electrolyte packet, if they need more snacks. And then we went for a little shakeout run. It was literally just like a mile jog around the block just to make sure that our legs are feeling good and like nothing is, we have no tweaks, we have no issues. And if we do, we can kind of like figure out where to stretch, like what to roll out. So I think the boys are feeling pretty good. Bronson has a little bit of allergies right now. So that was bugging him a little bit, but overall like everyone's spirits are high and we're just ready to go. I don't know. Really? I feel confident, but that run, I didn't feel good. I know I'm gonna push through, but like my chest definitely felt congested. Yeah, Bronson's been like allergies all this week. We got him some like nasal spray and stuff. I don't know where it is, but we got him some stuff. Hopefully it helps tomorrow. We'll give you some new snacks and yeah. give you that spray. You'll do we're, great. We're gonna you're gonna do great. Through. Yeah, regardless. I think you're in the right mindset, which yep. is the most important thing, right? Yep, exactly. The body isn't fully there. But the mind is still I'm ready. It'll be fun. I gotta go post on Strava. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.
thought it was actually one pickled onion. I was like, oh. that's a small meal. <laughs> Let me see. No, 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 no. Kylie, I don't like quick, this behavior. Just a quick. Don't point that knife at me. <laughs> Because any guy worth his salt would think that's awesome. That no, that was a natural any guy Ew, who is worthless worth or his salt. Mm -hmm. You never heard that. Yeah. Never heard that. Does life. that mean his? You know what? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that's like Anyone that's worth a person salt. worth you dating. They would be like, um, no, her that's cool. not having a tooth is cool. Yeah. I love these guys. I mean, they're hyping me up, but I don't have a tooth. <laughs> You're literally eating a whole pizza with Meanwhile, your hands. Look at, at Paige's dinner. <laughs> that hair. It's giving <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. No. Oh. Hey, let me in. I wish I had love. I hope this shit's on repeat. I hope this shit's on repeat right now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, how do I? Oh, wow. All right, four, four twenty-five, five minutes away. You ready? Yes. Okay, good, because we can't be a second late. The car is leaving at four thirty. Ew, you did the butt. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Come in, bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Um, can you do yeah, some a little research on? I saw signs. Shut it. Nah, it, it feels nice. Honestly, how are they all fitting in there? <laughs> Zach taking a sweet time in there. Yeah. Bronson did to that restroom. It's just. Wrong. I know that you guys did the same thing. You loading up, loading up. Here we are. That was glory. My toes feel sweaty. Oh, already? I yeah, I don't know if I like that. Well, what, are, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> it's not a thing, dude. Can I grab him more, please? Okay, so the boys just took off. We just got back from the start line. And guess what day it is? It's a girl day! day! Look day! at it! And Tim. No, Tim, you're included Tim, in the you're a part day. of the, the Blue Hat crew. So Blue Hat crew, we are the pit crew of this race. It's our job to keep the boys like fueled and yes. hydrated and we just meet them at the checkpoints and like make sure they have all that they need. They packed little bags with like snacks electrolytes, just goos, like everything. And then they also have stuff in their packs. They might be a little overprepared, but may maybe not, who knows. Yeah, now we're off to get coffee. Yeah, I'm eating some of my pre-race snack. We just got to the place where Paige and I are gonna pick up pacing for them, but I don't think they're supposed to be here for like another hour. So we have like plenty of time to like get ready and stuff. It's literally like by a highway in the deserty mountains. I have no idea where we are. This is very deserty. You're literally not even a pacer. What are you not Paige, even a you gotta let me say something before. <laughs> it seems really unnatural. Look at, look at our hardworking pit crew. You're not even a pacer. You're not that, even a pacer. That was really you're out of left field. I'm gonna pace uh, no, for not. the last months. <laughs> we have a thing going on. Zach, Zach specifically requested me to pace because he knows that I have that dog in me. He thinks I'm pacing Spencer. He said. He says I really want. I didn't say this. To, I didn't say this to Paige, but Zach called me and he said, "Hey, I'm going for the podium." And he said, "I'm going for the podium." And I don't know if I trust Paige to get me there. And I said, that's fair. Um, so he asked me to come out of retirement, taped up my leg, taped up the knee so that I can 
I can guide Zach to the podium. <laughs> I can't even see him. <laughs> Where, <laughs> Where am I? Here, here, here. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of cute. <laughs> it was finally time for the first aid station, which was at mile 25. So the first time that we were seeing the boys was at, basically they had ran a marathon. So they were so tired. They came in and they were like, we have been running in like deep sand for over 10 miles. And they just said it was like so hard. You couldn't even pick up your feet. So they were definitely feeling it like their bodies were just really really broken down at this point so I think seeing us kind of like boosted morale a little bit they really really needed that Zach came in first and then Bronson and Spencer came in a little behind him and then we sent them off and on their way Paige and I are going to meet up with them in about eight miles to run the last 15 miles of the race with them so we're really excited and I think that they are ready to have some company and some pacers and really looking forward to it first aid station done now we're off to the second well that wasn't like their official first aid station they've hit a bunch but it's the first one that we could be at we're off to the second one where Paige and I are gonna jump in as pacers and then we have 15 miles to pace them for the rest of the race so I'm a bit nervy yeah. but they're doing really good they're really tired and dehydrated they're crushing it though yeah it's just like the terrain like it's so bumpy Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's just like the terrain. Like, it's really hard on your knees, on your ankles, and on all your joints. So, I think that's the hardest part about all of this for them. Because Texas, like, we just run on the roads. Like, it's not anything crazy. So, they're crushing it. They're two miles ahead of pace, two miles ahead of the cutoff. We got time in the bank. They'll be good. Two hours. Two hours, sorry. Yes. <laughs> The second aid station we were allowed to be at was mile 35, which is where Paige and I were going to jump in. Paige was jumping in with Zach, and I was jumping in with Spencer and Bronson. However, Spencer actually got lost, and so he was about five miles behind everybody at this point. So I jumped in with Bronson. We headed out on our way. We actually ended up getting lost as well, so we actually ran an extra five miles, and Spencer caught up to us, passed us, as we were like getting back to the trail. So honestly, it was just like a little bit of a disaster out there. All right, y'all. Dak and Bronson just left the second to last aid station, otherwise known as the first aid station with pace. So that means I'm all alone for the rest of the race. So I'm gonna get ready to see them here at the last aid station here in about an hour. And they will then have about six miles to the finish. And I'll meet them at the finish line. Unless Paige has to tap out as a, as a pacer. Who knows what she's going through. And then I'll step in. But they're going, they seem to be doing pretty good. I think Spencer got lost. He's still TBD. We don't know what's going on with him. But they're doing good. Zach's crushing it. Bronson's crushing it. He's making up a lot of ground. And I, killing time. So I'm gonna climb this mountain while I wait for them. Wish me luck. Bye. Adventures out. Tim, Tim's adventures. There's a car down there. What a trek. I wonder if I can see the guys. And girls. Woo! What a vibe. See the guy in the moped. Moped man and van driving around. Home stretch. Here. All right. Bro. There they are. You got so lost. Home stretch. It's behind you. Feeling? Annoyed. It's behind you. Race day manager checking in. Just sent off the last pair. Bronson and Kylie are heading for the finish line. I am rushing back there to catch Zach and Paige and uh, and watch them finish. Uh, and then Spencer after them and Bronson and Kylie just don't want to miss it. Huge moment. Super, super, super proud of all of them. So I want to be there for that. Successful day so far. Um, everything went smoothly besides a few mishaps. Which I guess that means it didn't go smoothly, but let's get there. Uh, I'm worried they got lost again, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to uh, it. Do they have two lights? No. The failers. What up, All right, girl? we're going to record until they get in, because they're closed. I'm so excited! This is my I'm friend so Peg. proud! She's the oh. best face runner. I'm so yeah. excited. I heard so bad. 50 miles, baby! Here are some 50 mile finishers. Come on! Come on, Bronson! Come on, Bronson! That's gonna be Bronson to hold that. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Woo! 